Well, tonight we have word police are questioning a suspect in connection with a series of attacks on women in Inwood Hill Park. The news comes as people in that neighborhood came together earlier to unite against the uptick in violence. Sharon Crowley is following it all for us. She is at the 34th Precinct in Washington Heights right now with the update. Sharon. Yeah, in fact, Steve, sources telling us that a, a person of interest was brought to the 34th Precinct and is being questioned right now to see if there is any connection to the three incidents that happened in broad daylight on Wednesday involving women walking alone in Inwood Hill Park, all who said a stranger came up to them and threatened sexual assault. It has put the community there on edge. Neighbors walked together through Inwood Hill Park near where police say a stranger approached three women within one hour Wednesday morning threatening sexual assault. This community organizing the walk tonight to take a public stand against crime. The park is an important part of our community and we want to feel safe there. Police believe the same suspect is responsible for all three incidents. Investigators say the man approached all three women with the same M.O., threatening rape, hitting two of the women, and robbing another. In one incident, he managed to pull the woman's pants down. The women all managed to get to safety. I live in this community. I love this community. And um, that I feel like our community was attacked. Those women were attacked, and I can't even imagine imagine the trauma and the pain that them and their families are going through right now but I I feel like they are part of the thread of this community and so we are all feeling that pain. Mayor de Blasio put more police patrols in Inwood Hill Park. We saw some officers on bikes here tonight. Congressman Espiot represents this area and he wants more done to promote safety. Northern Manhattan is it's got uh, a lot of green areas second only to Central Park so we need mounted police more PEP officers and more cameras. Many in this upper Manhattan community still vividly remember the murder of 21-year-old Sarah Fox. The Juilliard student disappeared in 2004. Her body was later found in a remote area of Inwood Hill Park. Neighbors here tonight want to send a message. This is their park. They won't be scared away. My kids play in the park and I run in the park and my friends run in the park and I want to and I'm shocked and upset that this happened here and I want to make I want to make it better. And some of the neighbors that I talked to tonight would like to see more lights in the park, uh, different things, more police things to do to make it feel safe and more secure there. They are really paying close attention to developments in this case. They want to see someone caught. And as we said, right now, here at the 34th Precinct, police are questioning a person of interest in this case. But again, Steve, uh, so far, no charges have been filed. All right, thanks, Sharon.